Now, here's the mistake that other practitioners, doctors, and coaches are making. You cannot and should not treat this nervous system dysregulation without treating the other parts of the stress response system. If one is dysfunctional, they're all going to be dysfunctional. You know all the buzz out there about nervous system dysregulation? Yeah, what they're really talking about is a broken stress response system, which we call adrenal fatigue. It's nothing new, and I've been healing it for over two decades. I'm Dr. Andrew Neville. I've been specializing in the study and treatment of this broken stress response system, or adrenal fatigue, for the better part of my life. By the way, stick around because I'll be talking in detail about the supplements I use to heal this dysregulated nervous system associated with this condition. But first, what does nervous system dysregulation look and feel like? Well, it's different for each person. But often, it feels like wiredness, tension, anxiety, panic attacks, maybe jitteriness or a shaking in the body, feeling like there's a motor running all the time and even an inability to relax. Some patients, their sensory nerves become what we call upregulated which means they become overly sensitive to bright lights, loud sounds, harsh chemicals and smells, even touch can feel like pain. Some people also have what we call paresthesias, and that's when you get these strange nerve sensations anywhere, all over the body. It could be numbness, tingling, burning, itch, even pain. Some patients also feel orthostatic, where they feel like they're gonna faint at times, and some actually do faint straight out, but they feel lightheaded and spacey at times. When they stand up, their heart rate goes up an excessive amount. Now, the nervous system in nervous system dysregulation is actually a portion of this broken stress response system, and that's where that adrenal fatigue comes in, and there's way more to it than just a problem with your nerves. To understand what I mean, we need to first get a little bit of a primer on the nervous system itself. That way, we'll have some common terms uh, that I use when I, when I talk about how to fix it. So there are basically two parts of your nervous system. There's your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system. This central nervous system is made up of the, of the brain and the spinal cord, whereas the peripheral nervous system is pretty much everything else, all the other nerves in your body. One big part of the peripheral nervous system is what we call the autonomic nervous system. And that's primarily what all these internet personalities and the health coaches out there are referring to when they talk about this nervous system dysregulation. The rest of the peripheral nervous system, they're the nerves that uh, they go to your muscles. They, they allow you to take a walk, pick up your cup of tea, or even get up out of a chair. You can think of autonomic nervous system as automatic. This part of our nervous system controls stuff we don't have to think about, primarily our organs, how our heart beats, how fast we breathe, whether our pupils dilate or constrict, sweating, stuff like that. The autonomic nervous system, it's broken up into two parts. And I view these two parts as kind of two sides of a seesaw. There's the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight or stress physiology side. And on the other side is your parasympathetic nervous system, which is more of your rest and digest physiology. Now, like a seesaw in balance, every minute of every day, we're activating both parts of this nervous system. We exhibit some degree of sympathetic tone balanced by some degree of parasympathetic tone, and they exist in balance. Now, depending on your body's physiologic needs in a particular situation, we either exhibit more sympathetic tone at a certain time or more parasympathetic tone. Again, it helps to think of these two sides like a dimmer switch as opposed to like a light switch flipping on and off. They turn on relative to one another and turn off relative to one another. So this fight or flight increases rest and digest, decreases and vice versa. Now let's talk about when that autonomic nervous system is dysregulated. There are numerous reasons that people will talk about as to why this nervous system becomes uh, unbalanced or dysregulated. Poor diet, nutrition, toxins in the environment, infections of all kinds, head injuries, and the list goes on. And what happens is that all these stressors actually accumulate over the years, basically causing a broken stress response system. You see, we only have this one stress response system, it's, and it's made up of three parts. Your brain's limbic system, the autonomic part of your nervous system that I just talked about, and a part of your hormone system, which involves the HPA axis uh, in the adrenal glands. These three parts are a complete system, all three parts working together, and you can't affect one side or without affecting the other and vice versa, back and forth. Now, because we only have this one stress response system, that means all of our stresses go into this same stress tolerance bucket. This metaphorical bucket fills up over time so that our stress response system as a whole becomes dysregulated. And of course, that includes the autonomic nervous system. And this is what everybody's referring to. Now, here's the mistake that other practitioners, doctors, and coaches are making. You cannot and should not treat this nervous system dysregulation without treating the other parts of the stress response system. If one is dysfunctional, they're all going to be dysfunctional. 
Healing is effective only if we address each aspect of the stress response system, as opposed to just the nerve component, all at the same time. The most common pattern of this dysregulation is when it's tipped in the direction of fight or flight too often. And as humans, this is our default mode, this fight or flight stress physiology, it's our survival mechanism. Part of the challenge we have is that the constant stress and triggers we're exposed to in modern life are far different than back when this system was designed. It was built to handle acute stressors, right? Like famine and predators. This means that part of treatment for healing this is decreasing our exposure to as many of these modern triggers as is reasonable. So here are two simple examples. First, we should all work to decrease our exposure to the many thousands of man-made chemicals and toxins that are in the air, in the various products that we use on a daily basis, as well as in the, the toxins that are in our food sources. Second, we should try to eat food as close to its natural state as possible, which kind of reminds me of this concept of shopping the perimeter of your supermarket as opposed to all the man-made or man-adulterated stuff that's in boxes and bags and cans in those center aisles, all containing preservatives and fillers and all kinds of chemicals. The next step in healing our dysregulated nervous system is, and this is so important, is we need to strengthen the parasympathetic side or the rest and digest side of that autonomic nervous system. So it's like strengthening a muscle, but it takes repeated effort and practice. This starts with some type of a consistent mind-focusing relaxation exercise, like meditation, deep breathing, visualization, or even repetitive prayer. Our breath is especially uh, helpful here because anytime our exhalation is longer than our inhalation, the parasympathetic nervous system is engaged. Last, but certainly not least, are the various nutritional supplements that we can use to help to calm and balance the nervous system. Now, this starts with omega-3 fatty acids, primarily from fish and seafood, uh, either in our diet or in supplemental fish oil. See, our nervous system works from the top down, starting in the brain, and the brain is basically a big bag of fat. Primarily, it's omega-3 fatty acids, at least it should be. Most of us are incredibly deficient in these omega-3s, which means we're predisposed to a broken stress response system, nervous system dysregulation. Optimizing those omega-3s in our body goes a long way in balancing that nervous system. The B vitamins, especially B12 and B6, are also critical for proper conductivity and firing of the nerves. The B vitamins are well known to be depleted with stress over time, so adequate replacement of these vitamins, vitamins is really critical. I tend to use what's known as activated vitamins, so the form of these vitamins to bypass this really common methylation defects that a lot of us have, like MTHFR. There's also a number of constituents in herbal medicine that are known to stimulate various nerve growth factors, like BDNF, and stimulating these nerve growth factors, it helps the brain to remodel and rewire, which subsequently helps the autonomic nervous system to regulate. For me, this list starts with something called bicolin, which is actually an extract that comes from the herb skullcap, resveratrol, which is a polyphenol found in a lot of dark blue, red veggies and fruits, and berberine. This is the active ingredient in uh, several different medicinal herbs, although there are certainly many others that I might use in my practice depending on the person. Now, the bottom line is that there are numerous factors in life that are challenging our stress response system on a daily basis, contributing to this nervous system dysregulation. We wanna to try to minimize these triggers as much as possible while we strengthen that healing and repair side of our nervous system as often as possible using these modalities that I just talked about. Do this regularly, and not only will those body-wide symptoms and chronic conditions improve incrementally, but you will put your physiology in an anti-aging state, an anti-cancer state, and an anti-inflammatory state. Now, of course, it's nice to think you can get all the answers and healing with this on the internet or even by watching video after video on treatment of nervous system dysregulation. And then you get busy at home fixing your entire stress response. It just doesn't work that way. We need help. We need a plan. And we need somebody who's been educated about so much more than a few supplements or breathing exercises. This is a deep-rooted problem within your body, and it takes an experienced guide to help you come out on the other side healthy and symptom-free.